be out for 10 weeks. It's been 11 weeks now. Is he is he going to play again this season? I don't know. He's still um, with the medical. Um, he's out, he's out of, of the pitch. But uh, if he will be available, um, I don't know. Do, do you feel let down by him at all? It feels like he, he could have been more supportive this season. The, the goals have been an issue. You've, you've had well, a lot of... We scored a lot of goals lately. But you've got a <laughs> minus goal difference still. Yeah, but so first part of the season, there we had a lack of goals. But I think after the winter, uh, we improved a lot in that fact. And I think the last games, I think from January on, we score in every game. And also lately we score more than one time in, in, in games. But it, it's difficult for Rasmus, who's a young striker, he's come in, he was doing well, got injured. He, he doesn't have that support where if you wanted to give him a rest, you, you can't because there's not another striker. No, there. that is no doubt how, uh, that we, uh, uh, we counted on him. Uh, and we, you need two strikers um, in the league where we are in, uh, or in, um, say, in the, in, in the leagues. Uh, so we play on, on, in more competitions. So there, you need more options, and uh, you need double positioning in in, in every um, in every position. So and uh, in some position, uh, we didn't have the choices this season. There was uh, uh, the striker position, there's the left fullback position, and uh, that has a negative impact on the results. Just uh, following on from that, Eric, do you feel you went into this season then with enough firepower up front? Uh, with, with Rasmus, with uh, Marcus, with Anthony Martial. Do you feel you had enough uh, goals there at the start of the season, or do you feel you should have had more in terms of personnel there? So last, last season, eh, we were even, uh, we were even shorter, and uh, we came through the season uh, very well. And uh, so, yeah, so for the plan, I think it was quite logical to go into the season with an extra striker uh, who we signed uh, with uh, Rasmus Holland. And that sh should have been enough uh, to cover everything. So how vital then is it that you get a proven goal scorer in this summer then for next season? I think it would um, it would it would help. Uh, and as I always uh, had in this plan, uh, we constructed uh, that we had uh, we should have had enough goals. If you count them for the season, you count on goals from Ras uh, Resi, and last year he scored 30. Yeah. Yeah, you count on goals for Martial, eh? and I have to point eh, in my first season he played very well, and also in very important games he had a, a high impact on our performances. And then bringing a goal scorer as Rasmus Holland in, it should have been enough, enough goals. Okay. Hi Eric, I get that your job is to manage whatever challenges come your way, but with all the injuries, Jaden Sancho thing, Anthony, Mason Greenwood, New ownership or not, uh, Murta sort of leaving. Do you ever just privately to yourself think, swear word, swear word, swear word, when is this, when, when is my look going to change? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it's like, uh, the thing is, uh, you have to be realistic. And as a manager, it's like a minister. Eh? Eh? You don't have anything you have in your hands. But by the end of the day, and that is what you have to accept. You are responsible for everything, and I take that. I, and, I, yeah, I understand and, that, but the run of bad luck you've had is pretty. Oh, it's off the scale. It's, it's, it's huge. Uh, that is, uh, so a lot went against us this season. And uh, uh, see all the penalties we conceded last week, uh, and it is, could have also been uh, going in another way. And. Uh, you think over the course of the season uh, that well sometimes you get you get one sometimes you concede one but it feels like this season we only concede Neil, with losing the late goals does it does a nervousness start to creep into your players you know because it's becoming a bit of a, a habit do you feel that they get nervous towards the end of games about hanging on to leads and you know forget maybe what they're doing no they don't they, they don't forget what they're doing eh? and I, if you see positive, uh, after uh, we, we got at the 2-2 against Liverpool, uh, and I think it was uh, extra time, was it seven, eight minutes? So there were uh, another 16, 17 minutes to play, and Liverpool went full for it, uh, and uh, we survived. So 
and I have seen many moments also this season uh, where we can survive such moments. Just uh, do your job, know your job, do your job, follow the rules, follow the, the rules and the principles, and yeah, we will we will survive such moments. James, uh, Eric, obviously Jamie's talked about all the issues and like the terrible luck that the, that you and the club have had all season. Obviously, John has now gone this week, and he also really trying to get a, a sporting director and a technical director in, but, but they're not here yet. This is obviously, this period now is very important going into the summer transfer window, which is obviously going to be important again for the club. Do, do you have a few worries and concerns about the challenges it's going to, the added challenges it's going to make, create for you this summer in the transfer window? So um, we, were work, we are working. Um, so the background, all the plans, uh, with uh, scouting. Um, so what we they do with our staff, uh, we are working uh, on our plan. So the plan is ready, but uh, it has to execute. And yeah, I trust uh, the, the new ownership uh, that they will work as, as quick as possible and they will uh, bring new good structures and that they can execute. And it, but on that, if, say, a new sporting director and technical director come in and they don't necessarily agree with the plans that are being put in place, they want to make changes for you, it, could that be a problem that, it, it, you know, you lose time, you lose, you know, you have to change targets potentially, you know, even if it's just, say, one or is, is there any issues that, that could be there? So we have, we have good plans uh, with... Um... I think also with quality players, and also you see now eh, about recruitment. Eh, Onana is doing very well. Rasmus Holland, everyone seeing eh, his his big um, uh, talent and potential. Um, so you see, uh, we doing we doing quite good. And eh? Martinez, everyone uh, was hugely happy with him, eh? and so there are others. So recruitment is good, eh? but if they have even better ideas. We are always open eh, for, and always you have to judge eh, if uh, yeah, if we have options. But they come with better options. We are open eh, to fill this in. But um, we have a way we want to play, so we know our profiles exactly. So it has to match the profiles we want. Uh, last question, Chris. Hi, Eric. Just following on from Jamie's question before. I mean, obviously, Ajax is a massive club with 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 huge focus on what they do every day and, and, and the kind of football side of things. But what's happened certainly this season for you, as Jamie mentioned, with the off the field issues with certain players, the investment right the way through the season, right the way through until this week and John Murta going, did you expect the kind of issues that you've encountered at this club as much off the field as on the field? And has it surprised you just the, the kind of sheer magnitude of this job and what it entails? Uh, some things you, uh, you can't expect. Yeah, but as you mentioned, Ajax is similar. I don't know what if you follow what's happening in Ajax. Uh, uh, I think I don't think so because uh, the focus is not so 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 huge uh, from England there to to Amsterdam. But there are also issues, and uh, you can have the same problems, and you can you see the same patterns, and uh, you have to deal with it. But some things, and uh, in the question of Jamie. You don't uh, can take influence as a manager on it, and it's it's just go it just it happens, and then you have to make the best out of it. But you couldn't have foreseen this season what's happened for you and the club this season when we were on tour last summer and everything after the first season seemed so positive and, and yeah. going in one direction. It feels like this season you've had to deal with a myriad of issues and problems that you couldn't have foreseen. No, you couldn't you couldn't expect this. Uh, and but you have to deal with it. Uh, uh, but uh, this this business, uh, this industry, is about results, huh? and we only see uh, many see only the result. But you have to see also uh, what's what's underneath. And I see underneath, and I see uh, the potential. I see the direction, and so I'm positive in the way we want to go, and we will be successful. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.